Blue Chip starring Caesar Benson. Caesar Benson was rising up the charts. This guy had schools from all around the country calling him Oregon, USC, Alabama. Everybody wanted to get a look at this kid. Six seven, pocket passer, but he also had the ability to pull the ball down, tuck it and run if need be. He could do the impossible and make it look easy. This guy defined the word blue chip. He was a true blue chipper. He could do anything, tackle any task in front of him. And the football field was just part of it. He was adding on to the legacy of great quarterbacks to come out of Miami Northwestern. Now basketball season was right around the corner. And he was really about to take center stage. This was his home. Every time Benson had a free moment, he would sneak into the gym to work on his shot. He had mad range, toes on the out of bounds line, nothing but net. He had the ability to get to the rack. In his six, seven frame, he knew what to do with it. Once he got there, this guy was a scrapper. He wasn't afraid to dive for loose balls, to throw his body around the court. This guy took pride in defense. He tried to play the pass lanes because he knew this could turn into easy basket opportunities. The most impressive thing about Caesar, he was 6'7. He would get a rebound, take it coast to coast, and a no look pass to his man. Did you see that? The no look pass? So, being 6'7 and being able to pass like this playing point guard, people automatically compared him to Magic Johnson. But he was a little different. He was a little different from Magic because he had an extra gear. Oh, he will put you on a poster. Caesar would put you on a poster. This guy had freakish ability. Kind of like a LeBron James. He had the size, he had the speed, and he had the fur. He had active hands. He knew how to distribute the ball. His greatest asset had to be to be able to get a rebound and turn it into a fast break opportunity instantly. And he was not a selfish guy, he was a pass first kind of guy. <laughs> Caesar had another ego. He was a born competitor. He loved to race. This right here could get him in trouble. His coach told him the only thing he had to do was just keep his nose clean and he would be on his way. But he couldn't do that. This could ruin his name if he ever got caught. And his coach would let him know to stay out of trouble. Now Caesar would hate when people called him white guy because his dad was mixed with black and American Indian. His mom was mixed with Caucasian and Puerto Rican and Asian. So he was really like persuasion. But one thing he knew right now, he couldn't get caught by the cops. This would bring down his name, everything he's worked for. The race that he was in right now was winner take all. He needed some new rims. Somebody stole his rims. 
and he couldn't ride just on these factory rims anymore. Somebody broke in his car, bust his windshield out, and he had to get the windshield fixed. So winner takes all. As Caesar went around the Miami Turnpike, he knew it was a spot up ahead. If he timed it just right, he could elude the cops. This was dangerous, but going down this one-way tunnel, yeah, near miss. Now he's home free, baby. But he took the long route so you guys could get a little piece of this eye candy on the right-hand side. <laughs> yeah. But my man came in second right here. And number two doesn't cut it in the streets of Liberty City. So you had to do something he didn't want to do. Go see Dirty Money and ask him for some money. Hey, uh, you think I can... Uh, Hold a little something. Hey, if you ever ask for money from Dirty Money, best believe you're going to do something dirty for it. He had me standing out here waiting on him. Hey, Dirty! Hey, hey man! They had the police. Suppress a fire? Man, what the hell going on? Hey, man, hey! Y'all tripping, bro. Y'all tripping, man. Look, hey, I'm about to get up out of here, man. What? Hey. Chill, I'm in high school, man. What y'all doing? Chill. Chill, I'm not even shooting, man. I don't even have a gun on me. What y'all doing? Hey, y'all come back next episode, man. If you want to see what happens. You want to see how I got out of this jam. I'm not going out like this, man. Too much on the line. Florida, Tennessee, Alabama. I can't. No. No.